Brewing.com. Bosque Brewing Company. Hi. You guys are here with us. How's nice to meet you. Yeah. Hi, thanks for thanks having for us. Joining us. They've been on the brewery scene for a short amount of time, but have made a huge impact since the opening just a couple of years ago. They've just opened up a second location in Knob Hill. Here with more on their brewery, their philosophy, and some of their food. Tony Miller and Mike Patchell, thank you guys so much for joining thanks. us again. All right. Thanks for having okay, us. Okay, so tell me, you've opened a second location. Why is that? Yeah. Just so much customer feedback? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we wanted to expand. Mm -hmm. uh, our first location is on North San Mateo in Alameda. Okay. And so we uh, really wanted to expand to the other side of town, so we just opened up a spot in Knob Hill. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very exciting. What do you guys offer there? Obviously beer. Yeah, obviously beer. <laughs> uh, we have a uh, full menu, uh, appetizers, desserts, uh, everything that we make. I'd say 90% of everything has our craft beer in the food. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really good. Wow, that's neat. How did you guys incorporate that? Was that just, you know, you just came to it? Just thinking, uh, yeah, yeah it just works. yeah, just the, the passion of food and the passion of beer, and it just seemed like a perfect fit to do both together. So you guys brew on location? Uh, we brew at the uh, uh, North uh, San Mateo spot. Okay, and then yeah. you guys are going to take it to the Knob Hill location. Right. Yeah. Okay, so did you just feel that you needed to expand because the business was just going so well? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about what you have on the menu. You yeah. brought nachos yes, today. Yes, yeah, 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 we brought favorite. our uh, Bad our, uh, our beer cheese brought nachos. Um, yeah, so it's uh, uh, tortilla chips, our house-made uh, uh, brat with jalapenos, uh, beer cheese that we also, we marinate our cheddar in our craft beers. You put the cheddar in beer? Yes, yes, absolutely. And we, we let that marinate for uh, about three to five days. Okay. Yeah. How does that change the flavor? Uh, can, you, can you tell? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it, ma wow. it makes the cheese just really pop and okay. it, it changes the whole flavor and it really makes it really enjoyable. Where did you come up with an idea like that? Um, Experimenting? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And it's a great experiment, right? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Okay. So so you have the nachos that mm -hmm. has beer in it. Yes. The amount of beer, is it a lot? I mean, could kids um, eat this? Or oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it's yeah. not excessive. No, no. no. And you have other um, items on the menu that are Kid friendly without beer. Yes. Oh okay. yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so yeah. Parents, don't worry. <laughs> if you're not into letting your child eat beer, cheese, there's other stuff there as well. So, aside from the nachos, mm -hmm. you know what? You know, we got the beer cheese. Mm -hmm. You have is that sausage? You said? Uh, uh, yeah. Brats. Yeah. Yeah. House made brats that okay. we make with our uh, Brewers Boot Amber Ale. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, green chili and uh, uh, fresh pork that we okay. actually uh, grind. We make our own sausages right there on site. Oh, wow. Yeah. You yeah, guys are good. busy there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so what makes you guys different than other breweries? Um, probably the, the biggest thing is that we actually have food. We have a full kitchen okay. um, at both locations. And uh, I know a lot, a lot of places, they just do the, you know, the food trucks and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, which is nice. But we really like having you know, full kitchens on site and being able to offer this uh, wonderful food. Absolutely. Yeah. Any specialty beers that are just really outstanding that your customers really enjoy? Uh, I'd have to say our Scale Tipper IPA is absolutely amazing. Uh, we also have a Prospector Milk Stout okay. that is also really, really good. And uh, we're always constantly uh, making new beers, changing our specials board, and uh, always staying on top of it. And it's always uh, changing all the time, and it's very fresh and, and okay. exciting stuff. Okay, and are you um, part of the crew that puts together the food there? Yes, I am. Okay, yes, so am. when, you know, we're talking about beer cheese. Yeah. When you thought of that, we just like, that was genius. Well, we've been making beer cheese for hundreds of years in Germany. Okay, so, so why not bring it, here, bring it right? here? You know, I don't think I've ever heard of Mexico it here in the Duke City. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah. It is. Okay, okay. It, anything else, um, other than what you're going to make later on, we don't want to touch on that just yet. Anything else on your menu that you guys have uh, maybe soaked in beer or added your flavor uh, of beer to? salsa is an IPA salsa. Mm -hmm. uh, we got... Uh, uh, we do uh, uh, a bunch of uh, different beer desserts. We yeah, actually, uh, yeah, we do a, uh, uh, yeah, uh, chocolate, uh, chocolate brown brownie is what we okay. have on the menu right now, and we also do a uh, scotia chocolate mousse. Oh wow! Which is really really good, and also we do a, uh, a prospector milk stout um, chocolate cheesecake parfait. Oh wow! That is wow. really really tasty too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And how's been the response uh, so far at Nob Hill? 
Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Everyone is awesome. Uh, it's been super, super busy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, real quick, your location of the Knob Hill? Oh, it's uh, 106 uh, Girard. It's on Girard and Central. Okay. Yeah. So that's not too far from here. Yeah, we'll exactly. We'll have to stop by. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you guys for joining <laughs> us this morning. Thanks. If you need more information about Alaska Brewing Company and where they're located, go to our website, krqe.com. They're going to be whipping up something else a little bit later on in this hour. Stay with us.